we're going to do first is ban her, which gives her a unique ID number. And that one is STF. About how much does a female weigh? They weigh uh, usually around 1,400 grams in an adult. An adult. And a juvenile will weigh like 11 to 1,200 grams. And in pounds? About three pounds for an adult. So what we do is we look at the primary feathers here on her this wing. This one specifically. This very end one. And if you look at the tip, it's pointed. But on an adult, it would be rounded. It'd be more like that, where it's round. This one's kind round. Of blunted. That's how this one would look. But this is how we she's like now. Okay. I'm gonna put her feather back in so she's And then you wanna know how she knows we know she's a female. Yep, that would be awesome. Is the chest first off in the middle of breeding season. She has very little white on her chest. Um, but the definitely telltale sign is the undertail coverts here. This one, these guys, they, uh, the analogy that I was told is that someone took this feather and dipped it in white paint and then tipped it up like this so that the white paint could run down the shaft and that's a female. A male, they would have dipped it in paint and held it this way so that only the tip is white and there's no white going down the rest of the feather on a male. So she's a female because she has the white going down. So what we're going to do here is we're collecting blood, uh, a small blood sample, just a couple drops. I think it's for a connectivity study. If I'm not mistaken, just kind of seeing the relatedness of the birds. So basically I'm going to give her a little pedicure <laughs> and just very gently trim her toenail so that it just a little bit of blood comes out. So I just trim it a little bit at a time. So this is for a DNA test? Yes. I'm trying to just take as little as possible. <laughs> Sometimes you take a lot of their turn out. There we go. Okay. So I just need to get a drop on this. Drop on this. She's good for that. Oh, and stip dick powder to stop it from eating. I think this should be a winning ticket. Yeah. Okay. So I want to make sure that it's not going to come off her head, but also that she has some room. So I'm putting my finger here has enough room so it's not going to be uncomfortable but it also looks tight enough that it's not going to be able to easily slip over her head. So what I'm going to do, Lindsay, my lovely assistant, will grab a crimp or ice. Okay, so the collar is on. It's nice and snug. It won't come off over her head. You can still get a finger underneath it. We bent the antenna so that it runs down her back instead of sticking straight up in the air. And now we will weigh her. 
you want to make sure ways. you have the weight of the bag Very so that you can okay. subtract that weight and get her real actual weight minus the bag. So how do you release them? We take them out and set them on the ground. We do not throw them in the air or anything like that. And you can follow me out there actually. Okay. If she happens to flush and come towards you, cover your light really quickly. <laughs> okay. Way, you can probably watch her. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah. So why do you have the music? <laughs> to mask the netter's footsteps while beating through the brush. And the spotlight is? To find the birds as well as blind them and distract them while we're going in on them. <laughs> and so, are you guys having fun doing this? Yes. We're all smiling. <laughs> <laughs> we're cold, but it's still fun. Oh, good.